Yo, what's up, gang? Zoltic here, and we are back with some more Persona Royale. Um, <laughs> y'all probably are like, bro, your voice is already calm, and the video just started. I know, like, my voice starts to pan out, but um, I decided to do this video very late. Why? I have no clue. <laughs> just because I felt like playing some Persona, and we are in a different location, as y'all can see. We are in the museum. You know, if you didn't see how last video left off, definitely watch it. Hit the like button. Discord in the description if you want to chop it up with me. You know what I'm saying? We have some interesting conversations in there. Shout out to Vex. That bro just, like, bro has never talked in the server. Bro just came by and boosted the server. So, appreciate you, Vex. You know, you said you wanted a shout out in this video. There's your shout out, bro. Can these guys not see us? They're, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. <laughs> But um, we about to explore this palace. I'm going to kick back and, you know, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully we don't run into too many enemies. This is really how he thinks of this rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me like that. This is the old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on. Let's go check it out. I wonder if... So our palace is always people's distorted desires, or can they be good, too? I wonder, I wonder... Uh, oh, we're already inside of the uh, palace. Can we use uh, what's that thing called? Wrong button. Wrong button. It's gonna be like weird. I can feel it. This right here. Okay, there we go. Where the where the shadows at? Got us doing parkour and maybe. Hop, hop, hop picture scroll you know what i'm saying can you jump over here we can't jump all the way over there okay just started this video my mouth already getting dry pause i thought to like get up and get some water or something in a second but we should be all right right now y'all ever like y'all mouth ever be so dry it just starts hurting oh no nah, y'all haven't got to that level of commentation yet <laughs> Tin Crasp, okay. Some good items. Can we not go... Hold up, y'all. We about to thoroughly explore it this time. And then, like, someone suggested I started getting all the will seeds. But I didn't even get all the will seeds from the first castle, so there's really no point in doing that now. I don't know if that has anything to do with 100% completion, which I'm not even trying to 100% my first playthrough. People that try to 100% on first playthroughs are crazy. I feel like I have to genuinely love the game for me to 100% it. I don't know about how y'all feel about that, but uh, that's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Make sure this mic is twisted towards me. There you go. <laughs> From y'all's perspective, it probably just like I was running into the wall the whole time. My bad. I have something. Okay, so how do we get in? Right here? The skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's pretty far. It's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> Don't worry. I have a rope. See, Morgana, he always coming in handy, y'all. Looks nice in here, though. How suspicious. Yeah, it's very quiet in here. Oh. It's moving. Come on. We're in a palace. This ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm. hmm. Palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check out these paintings. Hmm? Some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age. What the hell? This can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. They didn't even tell us what what it said on there though. Crappy portrait. Hey, hey. I'm curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's go look at the next room. Okay, these bitches looking hella nice though. I ain't gonna lie. This palace is low key peaceful. Hey, hey. You can sit down. Oh, you can hide on these. <laughs> I said you can sit down. I'm stupid. Oh, what is this one? So 
So what the hell? We're like hiding and stuff, but like... Is there any reason to hide? There's no shadows even here. There's like no security. Damn it. This one's got a name and an age. Oh, okay. These all look similar, even down to the composition. I see. So I guess they're gonna say the same thing for all of it. This is. Is this? If like is staring at us, dude. What if the paintings start turning into shadows? We gotta find one that's actually unique, I guess. That's what the game's trying to tell me. So, yep, here we go. Hey, this, this doesn't make any, make any sense. sense. Madarame is famous for having Madarame's a variety of for having a variety of art styles. So yeah, maybe he's just a trash drawer and he just plagiarized, and that's why he has, like she said, a variety. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. So, all of these portraits are of his students that he just stole from? That's fucked. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Maybe that's the point. <laughs> hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Okay, I'm just wondering why there's no shadows here. Hey, look! We're looking... Kind of... Demonic. I ain't gonna lie. Why is there red on him? Like, the other paintings don't have that. Or, I guess they kind of do? I don't even know, bro. I'm done looking at these things. They're, they're kind of ugly. Like, they're faceless. Like, bro, what's going on here? Oh, that's, um, what's his face? <laughs> uh, Yusuke. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Patrons of museum, Madarame's pupils, well painted. Um. To be honest with you. Hmm. Well, they're Madarami's pupils, obviously, out of these three options. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Hmm. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. I mean, so obviously it's like very clear that he plagiarizes, which for like a big art guy, I guess is like a huge crime for him. But I mean, it doesn't look like he's killed anybody or he's like some pervert or something crazy. So, wait. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's right. It's like some security system or some shit. Oh, this is what chess look like in here. Some sort of brochure here investigate so we should check everything okay but that chest comes first straw doll boy what the heck this is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace why do you bother making something like this oh that's a museum guide on here stick it with us oh it's a map Hmm, but the map only shows half the museum. It says, I see, it says it's one out of two. <laughs> bro, we gotta find multiple maps, that's stupid. How big is this museum, bro? It's locked, lockpick. Oh, we got eight. 
I don't know how we got eight, but hey, don't mind if I do. Lunar cook. Oh. oh, not right now because I want to see the stats on it. But hold up, though. Wait, no, whose weapon was that? The Morgana's 90 damage. A sword from where rain falls sooner than usual? That sounds fire. My, my boy just got him some, some crazy new weapon. It went, bro went from doing like 50 something damage to doing 90. It's insane. All right. Just walked in a circle. Don't do that. <laughs> Giant sculptor. Ah. Look at this. The infinite spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. What? Hold on, let me go back in the log to really analyze what she just said, y'all. So, work of art that the great director... These individuals must offer their ideas to the director. For so, I'm guessing they signed, like, a contract, and that signed, like, all of their art over to him, probably. Kind of like how a record label works with music and stuff like that. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Yep. Damn it. What a phony geezer. But how does he keep everything quiet? That's the thing. Like, how does he keep this plagiarism shit quiet? In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. That's crazy. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. Facts. They're just rusty old paintings he's forgetting about. That's messed up. That's like very messed up when you think about it. And then it's like, he's like taking all these little kids off the street and he's like, I'm going to use y'all to make me famous and then not give y'all any credit. Like, that's that's really messed up. Like, I mean, I guess he's putting a roof over their heads, but like, come on, bro. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. The moment they're not he's treating them like slaves or tools why is yusuke keeping quiet about this he's got no reason to cover this up probably because he's still useful to him right now is that true he did say that he owes madarame his life for being taken in but still when we were at the exhibit i praised one of the pieces on display but Kitagawa kun acted strange. For real, he was like, not this piece. This piece is not it. <laughs> Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. Maybe every piece was plagiarized. I'm pretty sure. Because y'all seen all the paintings, they all look the same. He probably only has one art form. He's like a big fraud, like big, big fraud. Called? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? Mmm. I'm gonna ask what they think. I mean, obviously, I'm like, let's do it, but. From the game standpoint, though, we still haven't seen him do anything crazy in real life. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. Facts. And then when we come back here, Shadow's about to be everywhere. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Facts. Wait, you're gonna do Morgana, that? okay, bro, chill out. This ain't the time for jokes. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. <laughs> well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. We better. We're going bigger than just school problems now. We're going international with the shit. Yes, sir. Mm. 
the real reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconfident, un, uncondensed with, wait, what the fuck? I'm fucking up. <laughs> it's late, y'all. If you owe your life to them, I'm not sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitawara kun Madarame isn't a problem. Mmm, what do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I actually haven't met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that's a totally different from what happened to Kama- For real, because Kamashita, bro, the whole school was a victim to that man. Like, it was really easy to see the bad stuff he was doing. This might be an extreme line of thinking. But if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? She- Ooh, she has a point. Imagine, like, trying to go into someone's cognition and trying to make them change, like, their brain or something like that over something they did, like, two or three years ago. Like, that's actually facts. Well, you have a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bad. Bro, you don't even know him, though. We've not, we haven't even seen Madarame do anything bad yet. <laughs> and Yosuke's just like... Um, not Yosuke. Damn, I'm getting these names up. But right. Ryuji's just like, we about to take him down. Like... Like, chill out. I'm gonna say, let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we could talk somewhere after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school. Hey. Ooh, the package is here. Aroma machine. Ooh, I like that. That's what I like to see. Organa? Okay. Ask Yusuke about this. I bet. Can I read? Oh my god, bro. Can I do something? Can I train? He's not even gonna let me leave my room, is he? I hate you, Morgana. Hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what Aunt said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> even Rune is like, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, but, but, what An said about not, like, really attacking someone unless they're doing something bad right now is actually facts. Um, we'll take him down, bro, don't uh, worry. Yeah. Don't tell Aunt I called you, by the way, uh, seriously. She ain't gonna do nothing, what if I did? Well. Now let me go to sleep. All right, I contacted Kikawara Kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Um, cover yourself in paint. Don't do anything. I'm gonna say cover yourself in paint. <laughs> Can you at least try to take this seriously? <laughs> Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Hitawara kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Hmm. Okay. He's just gonna be pressed whenever we all show up together, though, again. I got a response from Kitagawa kun He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. <laughs> nah, facts. He probably did. We need to find out from Kitagawa kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Hmm. Yikes. Talking to Mishima. Hold the Mishima today. It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay. See you later. Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry, I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. So what? She already modeled. Thinking about what? 
Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? He definitely is. Y'all seen how, like, that outburst... <laughs> bro had a big outburst. He was like, my master would never, would never... And I'm like, bro, I know you, Captain. I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. He's probably fine with it. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? That's true, though, because, like... Like I said, I was like, how is Madarame keeping his true stuff? Because even if, like, Yusuke is keeping him a secret, obviously Madarame has had other people's. How have they not, like, obviously, there's posts online about Madarame and stuff like that, but nobody's willing to just outright take him on. Like, I wonder why. Like, like I made a joke last video. I was like, this man has snipers on the roof or something like that of all of his past people's houses. Like, if they say anything, they're done. That has to be some. It has to be something like that, bro. I swear. Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you. Hmm. Did she cut her bangs? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just say definitely. Totally right. Hmm? But I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. <laughs> I gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. Right. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki san. <laughs> See how his whole demeanor changed again, bruh. I didn't even know that we- I thought, like, we would be here at the house, but I didn't even know we would be in the same room as them. Wouldn't you get nervous, too, if it was just the two of us? <laughs> We're here to keep an eye on you, so, uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? He's just straight up. He's just straight to the point. Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Bro, chill out. Why you gotta be so specific with that? Yeah, what? What is wrong with this man? Is there a problem? No, not really. <laughs> Wait, why she seemed disappointed by that though? What the fuck? Okay, what is going on here? This game is confusing me. Well then, let's get started. Hmm. Bro's trying to focus, bro. Why are you interrupting? You hear her? Hmm. Bro's admiring. No use. He's admiring the art. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? <laughs> he's a true artist, bro. Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. <laughs> Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Nah, nah, stay put. Just waiting around is a waste of time. Morgana, shut up. Go to sleep. This is too boring. So I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. That's fact. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. Aw, oh, no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? <laughs> I would be so mad, I ain't even gonna lie. I have to jump him. I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. No, why? Why is there late in real Yuji talk, bro? Last time he tried to talk, it did not work. This again. Oh my god, bro. Let on talk. That painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... 
<laughs> you can't even deny it. Bro's hurt. I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Artwork. Nah, that's that's crazy. That does not sit right with me. I ain't gonna lie. Like he brings you in just to treat you like shit. Like no, no. He should have just left y'all on the streets. To be honest. Don't misunderstand me though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Bro, you offered him your idea. Isn't it more than an idea? You spent time sitting there painting and crafting that. Just for him to take it. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Hitago kun. Then why are you sticking around? Facts. And the thing is, I wouldn't even care if someone plagiarized me. I just better get a cut. Like, <laughs> you want to use my artwork and put your name on it? That's fine. But let me get at least, like, shoot, 60%. Like, then we fine. You can plagiarize all you want. But you ain't even getting a cut of the money, bro? Hell no. Nah. All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Damn. And the other pupils? Facts. I got him with that. Facts. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Sue? You're gonna sue us because you're getting plagiarized and we're trying to help you. Ooh, you don't know how bad I want to smack him. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey. Whoa, 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 chill out, chill out. I'm reporting you to the police. Bruh. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. Bro's really about to, like, okay, bruh. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it. Calm down, okay? Damn it. I won't report you, but only under one condition. What? What's that? He's gonna be like, y'all can never come here again. <laughs> or he's gonna be like, aunt has to stay here or come back or something. He's gonna say either one of those two things. I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki. Okay, it was the latter. It was the second one. Because you're, you're, he's a creep, y'all. He's a creep. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me. Wait, what? Pause, bro. <laughs> Pause, bro. Hell no. Nah. I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. Okay, nah, nah. This got worse. What? <laughs> Even I didn't expect that, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I thought the game would have started off with that type of joke from the, the jump. Uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? For real, bro should have started off saying that. Bro just waited. Nah, nah, nah. Because those are my terms. Bro is really blackmailing the fuck out of us, bro. I say we just knock his ass out, drag him into a dark room, interrogate him. Wait, isn't that what happened, Nurin? <laughs> Wait, ain't that bad? 
Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place. Hey, yo, nah, he's talking crazy. Nah, he's talking kind of crazy. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. Bro, imagine like we did all that for him. Like, I don't think the game's actually gonna have on do that. But imagine we actually did all that for him just to not get any info on Madarame. That would be insane. No, that's not what I mean. Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki san, I'll be waiting for you to contact. Bro, get out of here, Yusuke. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. Hey, what should we do? <laughs> we have to leave, bro. <laughs> Even Rin, he just shook his head. He's like, Look, give me the fuck up out of here. Don't give up so easily. Is she done being a model? <laughs> this game is hilarious, bro. Morgana is going to be like, What? <laughs> Morgana's not about to let that slide. He said it. It's not going to be semi, but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity. Uh, Lady On's gonna. Bro, Morgana, get. Drop it. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. Oh yeah, that's facts. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? Bruh. I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Yeah, that's true. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. On why why you bro didn't am I wrong, y'all? Did she not seem kind of like upset whenever he was like, I'm not even interested in you like that? She was like, What? And she looked kind of disappointed. And then now that there's this, now she's like, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Dude, this game is actually funny. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've actually been having genuine laughs with this game for like the past like couple episodes. Kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you new? Whoa, whoa, that is crazy. Are you not caught? Bro, I swear if it wasn't so late, I'd bust out laughing right now. I'm holding it in a vicious laugh right now. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? I'm gonna say that too. What? Are you saying I'm. Uh, no, I mean, that's not what this is about. <laughs> we must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so. Uh, where to meet up? Let's see. I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Okay, your hideout is moved from the Shujin, from the rooftop to the building access way. Okay. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Who is this? Huh? 
From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Stalking fans? Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. Sayuri? But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Oh, shit. It was taken by... Oh, shit. I mean, I would do the same thing. You think you're about to throw me out on the streets just because I'm useless to you or something like that? I'm taking my painting back, bro. Back. You heard anything about that? Hmm. <laughs> Ryuji knows. <laughs> we don't care about art. <laughs> I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I wish we could have been honest with her, though. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Dang, she on my meat. Who are you? See you, then. you are a grown ass woman on my meat. Pause. That sounded crazy. I YouTube about to strike this video. <laughs> that sounded way too crazy. But nah, she really was on my meat though. Like, chill out. Whatever. I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady no <laughs> I can't even say some of this stuff out loud on YouTube, probably. Nor do I really even hey, want to. Me. Got a minute? What's up, Mishima? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Really? Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Huh. Another change of heart. Got you. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. So this is more like memento stuff, and right? That it might complicate things if he posted the name online. Got you. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Oh. Nakanohara. That's Matarame's student. So this is relevant to the story. Told him to approach you. Good luck. Thanks, Mashima. Mashima is a W. I found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. Nah, fuck that. I'd rather, like, see, I'm not a murderer or anything. Don't take this the wrong way, but. I'd rather murk him than murk myself, me personally. But that's crazy. That's unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. Bax, all that money he has. I wonder if Kitoara Kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Madarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. I'll be out first time. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. Yay. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. What the f actual fuck? And he's not going to let me walk out, is he? Okay, he did. Nice. <sighs> Payphone. I don't think. Wait, and then that that number we got that one we'll probably be able to talk to her sometime later probably. Hey. Um Oh th we can boost kindness with this. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Make sure you close up. Hmm. Hmm. Yes sir. Should be in Shibuya. Yeah, we should go talk to him first before anything. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? There he is. Excuse me. He is dripped out too. He got the drip on him. That's Nakanohara. Nakanohara, bro. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. 
For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. Right. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. <laughs> I think the change of heart must have worked. Facts. Bro is now dripped out too. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. Yep, we, we the heroes, you know what I'm saying? But only at night. Right now we kind of all look dusty, but you know. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. Who? An artist by the name of Madarame. Of course. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Okay. So, obviously, he just told us what we already know. So, he gives them a house to stay in, or just he just offers them room and board or whatever. And then any work that they make, they just start plagiarizing, I guess. Like, let me read back again, though. Obviously, Madarama kept tabs on it. Everything he made was claimed as a... So, but are, are they, like, making him sign some type of, like, uh, contract? Because he can't just plagiarize like that without any consequences, like... There's another people as well. Yeah, give me logging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. So that must have been like his friend, probably, too. He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. Damn. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. Yeah, because it wasn't your passion. I mean, hey, you still dripped out in that suit, though. Don't take it off, but... <laughs> My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. Oh, is that why you started stalking? In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> Damn. I feel for this man. I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Got you. Not only for me. It's to save the life of another man as well. Yeah, someone committing suicide over this? It automatically kind of makes him worse than Kamashita. Because, I mean, Kamashita was a horrible person. But death is involved, man. Death is involved with this man, Madarame. So, we gotta take care of him. Save their life? What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. We've met him. We, we've had a run-in with him. He's kind of annoying, but, you know, we're trying to save him, too, unfortunately. <laughs> that has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? You can probably guess it. He was on Madarame's meat. If I could leave, I would. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Kitago -kun. If I could leave, I could... Damn. And then he really has nowhere else to go. It's either Madarame or the streets. Like, <laughs> and the streets don't sound too good. I ain't even gonna lie. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice. But... I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. All right. Am I the only one that actually likes this character, Nakanara? Like, I low-key wish he was in like more segments of the game. He's actually, he's speaking facts. 
please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. I got you. Some of these side characters in the game are actually fire, like Shiho and then Nakanara. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Facts. Now we've been asked directly, so we about to fuck this nigga up. Let's do it. Let's save you, Scale. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Let's do it. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Okay, Morgana, chill out. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore... Oh shoot, my bad. <laughs> no, I skipped something funny. No, 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 that was a f hold on, hold on. No. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. <laughs> bro, this game's stupid, bro. We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Yep, I know the drift. I know the drift. I know. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. That's true. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. True, but there was like no guards at all. Like, at all. But I love the like idea of palaces because it's like every single segment of a palace is how the person truly feels deep down inside. Like, it's even some details that the game won't even tell you. It just kind of skims over it. Like with Kamushida, like... The biggest thing for me is how, like, he might have actually done stuff with, like, Shiho. Like, if you really looked at all the pictures and, like, some of, like, the, the things that it was showing in, like, certain rooms, I was like, yo, like, it's not off the table that, like, something might have, like, no wonder why she jumped off a building. Like, that crap was sick, bro. And it's some stuff that the game just doesn't even tell you. It only implies it a little bit. But looking inside of that castle, I was like, yo. And then, like, you know, we're about to find some crazy stuff about Madarame, too. That's probably even worse than just suicide, bruh. So, can't wait. Can't wait to tackle this this palace, though. Ain't gonna lie. It's harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. It's very true. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Matarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that. Probably a painting. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Got you. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? okay bruh, on you over here talking to me and your Yuji like you don't be the first party member knocked out. You and Morgana are sleep twins. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks cool, though, for a hangout spot. This actually looks really cool. Okay. Your mission to change Madarami's heart has begun. You must seal his treasure by the deadline. Mission star. Occasionally, you will encounter palace obstacles that are impossible, impassable, and require interacting with the target in the world. Yeah, I was wondering, because, like, back in, like, Persona 4, I would do dungeons in a day, bruh. But I was like, in this game, what if we like are about to get a new party member or something? Like, obviously, we're probably gonna have to revisit the real world, and that's what's gonna happen. 
You will need to leave the palace to find the obstruction. Enter palaces quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the deadline. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Now, originally, I wanted to do more in this video because I thought, like, as soon as this video started, we were going to hop into the palace, but there was still a little bit more story stuff we had to do before we actually got to explore the palace. And I could do it now because this is a long play, but I kind of want to just do a video where I start off in the palace and the whole video is just me doing the palace. So we're going to do that next time. <laughs> this video actually ended up being about like nudity kind of as a joke which is pretty funny i ain't gonna lie which kind of further pushes my last video's title that use case of creep because <laughs> he really like that that just solidified it there he cannot fight the allegations at this point man needs to be locked up <laughs> but hey bro i love y'all like i said earlier discord in the description hit the like button subscribe we got more videos on jrpgs and more persona coming of course and I'll see you guys next time. Zeltic out. Peace.